Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan, the voice behind that Kaito Dan, and welcome to the fourth part of my Mega Ruby Ship Name Analysis Project. Be sure to check out the other parts in the links down below if you missed them, and remember, some of the topics mentioned may contain questionable or adult themed content, and may spoil the show for you if you haven't seen up to Ruby's third volume. But for now, let's quickly get on with the show. This time with the ships involving the lot from Team Sun and Coffee. Sun and Sage. These two are able to make their own two-man Team Abs. Seriously, look at these two, they really do have abs for eternity. Sun and Neptune. This one was actually made by the voice actors of the boys themselves, Michael and Kerry, who dubbed the pair Sea Monkeys, the name of the hatching novelty kits. Sun and Scarlet. A sunrise brings us a red dawn, but the sun can also give light, which might mean that if Sun tried to pinch any more food, he may get caught red-handed. Sun and Velvet. Two faunuses now with animals ripped right out of the Chinese zodiac. You can also make Velvet turn a monkey's favorite treat of bananas into bananas. Sun and Coco. One notable item of Coco's are indeed her sunglasses, which are handy to block out the bright sun. Might make spotting some chocolate monkeys a bit difficult though. Sun and Cinder. Monkeys are often found high up in the trees, and Remnant has a particularly lush, fiery red forest known as Forever Fall. Though if Sun ever clashed with Miss Fall herself, we may see one hell of a supernova level explosion the name for a star's explosion. Sun and Roman. A criminal like Torchwick and a wild child like Sun sure could really be up to some monkey business under a Roman sun. Sun and Emerald. If given the chance, I'm sure Emerald might snag some sunstones, or maybe she would just follow her fellow pincher to make some thieves company. I guess a thieving spin-off to the show Three's Company. Sun and Mercury. Fun fact, it takes about 88 days for the planet Mercury to orbit the sun. Sun and Adam. The Sun Also Rises was a 1926 novel where a bunch of people went to the running of the bulls held in Spain. The other ship name I'll highlight is Masked Monkeys. Sadly, some people do put masks on monkeys and it's kind of depressing. Sun and Neo. He's a monkey, and she's based on ice cream. Just take a wild guess what their ship name is. Yep, Banana Split. Sun and Junior. Mr. Wukong gives us Sun Bear for another bear-inspired junior ship. Sun and Ozpin. The headmaster with his silver locks pairs up with Sun's golden hair to make gold and silver. Sun and Glinda. No matter how good you may be at pinching things, you do not want to be caught and be put into a Glinda-led detention. Sun and Port. Where did we first see Mr. Wukong himself? Correct, at Vale's Port, where the young lad was, in his own words, a great stowaway. Sun and Ublek. For this ship of Teacher and the Sun-based Warrior, we look to the world of studying the atmosphere, meteorology. Sun and Penny. A solar panel is a handy piece of tech making use of the sun's rays for energy purposes. Equally handy would be having an Autobot fight on your side, like Optimus Primate, a monkey twist on Optimus Prime from the world of Transformers. Sun and Cardin. Now these next four are actually connected, each involving Sun and the members of Team Cardinal. In Japan, there's the principle of see no evil, hear no evil, say no evil, and sometimes do no evil. Various mantras that people can follow to be of good nature. This is often shown with wise monkeys whose poses represent their specific theme. Each of these terms play into a member of Cardin's team, like the main man himself being do no evil, fitting for a bully. Sun and Russell. Then we have Say No Evil, since Russell is the only other member of the team to have a speaking line. Sun and Dove. 
Dove often has his eyes closed, thus he's see no evil. Sun and Sky. And finally, there's Sky, who is hear no evil, the last of the bunch. Sun and Ciel. This pair, thanks to their sun-based names, can make the name of Solar Powered. Sun and Summer. Naturally, these two make up the ship name of a sizzling Summer Sun. Sun and Nebula. The leader of Team Indigo gets some love now. Her galactic-inspired name works with Sun to give us Star Birth, the literal birth of a star. Sun and Reese. Sun's monkey tail becomes handy for Reese with her hoverboarding if she ever wanted to pull off a literal tail slide grind move. Sun and Zwei. More Zwei shipping too, folks. This time the doggy and the monkey possibly getting into some animal attraction going on. Scarlet and Neptune. The ship name Red Sea returns for the first time ever, this time with the red name lad and his watery teammate. But there's also Gossip, based on Neptune apparently being fond of sharing secrets with the redhead. Scarlet and Sage. Scarlet can lend his scarlet red locks towards Sage's plant-like elements to make a cherry tree. But he can also lend his sailing aspects being based on Captain Hook to go with Sage's element of being based on something in Aesop's fables to make Sailor's Fables. Scarlet and Velvet. The cake Red Velvet returns as well, only it's coloured a scarlet shade of red this time. Scarlet and Cinder. Two red themed people now mixing together and making the ship name of Crimson. Scarlet and Emerald. Another gemstone name for an emerald ship, this time the red coloured Garnet. Scarlet and Junior. As a barman, I'm sure Junior's had to serve some customers some red rum at some point. Scarlet and Penny. Red lining is the discriminatory practice of denying affordable services based on some locations. The name working in the red of Scarlet with the currency Penny. Scarlet and Winter. Yo ho, yo ho, it's a pirate life, a schnee, a schnee twist on the classic pirate tune. Scarlet and Neon. Another ship that's also based on a real life relationship. Scarlet and Neon's voice performers, Gavin and Meg, are a couple, and their last names of Free and Turny are used to make Turned Free. Sage and Neptune. Plant life and water. Of course, one name would be Seaweed, though there's also Swamp Dwellers, placing the two boys in the muggy bog. Sage and Coco. More spice love now. Coco's brown tint means that we have Nutmeg. Sage and Fox. Sage is also part of the ship name between the Big Lad and the Silent Scarred Slicer. Spicy Tricksters, as foxes are often seen as trickster types. There's also Sriracha, a type of hot sauce. Sage and Velvet. Not to be confused with clovers, which are actually bad for rabbits. Clove are brown seeds that's often used as a spice. Sage and Yatsuhashi. The Sword Bros. Both big badasses with big bulky blades. One of them is quite sweet, and the other one is named after spices. Thus, sweet and spice. Sage and Cinder. Best not get any plants near a flame like Cinder's, or all that will be left will be ashes. Stick to trying out some red paprika instead, which is another reused ship name. Sage and Emerald. Every plant needs roots to help bloom green and healthy, like a possible romance between these two green-haired peas in a pod. Sage and Mercury. Like his parent with Blake, Sage's spice trait mixes with his partner's black-coloured parts to fit the ship name Pepper. Sage and Adam. The Anato is an orangey-red pepper-like spice that works as the ship name for Sage and the red-featured Faunus. Sage and Ozpin. Elderflower is the name for Sage and the mysterious Ozpin ship, who may again be older than many realise. Sage and Glinda. Only fair that if we have a purple plant used for a ship name between these two, that it would be Lavender. Sage and Ironwood. 
the wood part of James's last name goes along with Sage's plant traits to give us mastic. Mastic being a type of resin found in the tree of the same name. Sage and Ooblek. Combine the history teacher with Sage's plants and perhaps Ooblek might switch from history to herbology. Sage and Penny. As I said in a previous part, Sage is also the name of a very wise person. So play that off Penny and a notable quote, and Sage could have more than a penny for his thoughts. Sage and Cardin. The cardinal shade of red adds to Sage's spice hood to give us the red spice saffron. Sage and Dew. Foes for a short time in the Vital Festival tournament, so why not pair them up? These two are named Petrichor, an earthly scent when rain hits dry soil. Neptune and Coco. A song turned popular early viral hit, Neptune's water trade with Coco means that we get chocolate rain. Neptune and Velvet. A sea bunny is the nickname that some give to the sea slug, thanks to its cute rabbit-like elements. What isn't cute is the film Watership Down, which is pretty violent for an animated film with countryside animals. It does give us the name Watership though. Neptune and Yatsuhashi. Forgive me for possibly butchering this one, but next is Jiuzhaigo, a nature preserve in China with beautiful crystal clear blue lakes and rivers. Neptune and Cinder. Then there's Cinder's red leading into the Laguna Colorada, otherwise known as the Red Lagoon, found in Bolivia. Neptune and Roman. Smooth Criminal returns for use with Troublemaker Roman's inclusion in this ship, but this pair also gets referred to as Acheron, one of the five rivers of the Greek underworld, otherwise known as the River of Woe. Neptune and Mercury. Silver Surfer or no, I doubt anyone would want to surf through some acid rain, the acidic water that is harmful to the surroundings after time. Neptune and Emerald. The playboy Neptune might want to use some pearls of love if he tries to go and woo Emerald. Maybe it's best if he stays away from any water and just sticks to dry land and go for some blue aquamarine gems instead. Neptune and Neo. Blueberries often find themselves as a flavor of ice cream, but for those with a fondness for the Kingdom Hearts series like me, they might like to sample some sea salt ice cream instead. This being a popular treat that series creator Tetsuya Nomura likes and used as a notable element in the series. Neptune and Junior. Neptune didn't really make a good first impression on the club owner. Bad move to make with a guy who's named after a bear. Like the Tibetan Blue Bear that's also known as a Pruinosus. Neptune and Penny. It would also be a bad move to put a robot like Penny in water. That could cause some major malfunction issues. Unless of course Penny is also secretly a submarine. Neptune and Glinda. Glinda's weapon as we all know is the crop, which is an item also used by jockeys when riding their horses. Like the iconic horse that has a Neptune-like water element in its name, Sea Biscuit. Neptune and Crow. Nothing says the seaside like those annoying chip-stealing seagulls. Neptune and Winter. I doubt you would see any seagulls though near any winter chilled frozen seas. Neptune and Summer. Surprisingly, I had a pretty decent summer over here in England. I even helped myself to a beach day. Neptune and Bolin. Hey, we got a shit with Bolin Hori, the staff fighter from Team Auburn. Partnering him up with Neptune to make Brolin, since Neptune's got that whole bro attitude to him at times. Neptune and May. May's skill with guns might make her a capable partner when it comes to water fights if she can trade her rifle for a super soaker. Coco and Fox. Fox's name allows for a reference to the stylish Foxtrot dance style to match with Miss Adele's own flair. While Fox's sharp blades can also mean we can pair them up with Coco's glasses for some shades and blades. Coco and Velvet. Likely the most popular ship out of Team Coffee, the skilled gunner Coco would likely have stared down many a crosshair in her time on the battlefield. But with her rabbit teammate around, 
perhaps her eyes would be on crosshairs instead. Both girls also conceal their weapons in some stylish combat totes. Koko and Yatsuhashi If Koko ever wished it, I'm sure the big guy Yatsu could use his blade to provide us some Shea chocolate. If not, then maybe she can be inspired by Yatsu's height and go for a Toblerone, the chocolate notable for having a mountain as its logo. Coco and Cinder These stunning firecracker gals aren't just good looking, they're quite the fashionistas with their stylish gear. Coco and Roman Ferrero Rocher are chocolates made in Rome, Italy. Coco and Neo The ice cream reference for this pairing, thanks to Coco, is a tasty chocolate sundae. Though thanks to Neo's full name of Neapolitan, there's a ship name based on Cosmopolitan, the popular fashion magazine. Coco and Emerald Green hair means a green coloured chocolate, mint chocolate to be exact. Coco also means a brown based gem to use, namely chocolate diamond. Coco and Junior I wonder if Junior would serve the second year student Coco some chocolate liquor. Coco and Ospin Ospin could be mistaken for a count given his sharp, well groomed attire, but at least he's more of a count than Count Chocula, the vampire found on the cereal of the same name. Coco and Crow could Crow's flask actually be full of some Irish coffee? A cocoa brown coloured cocktail mixed in Irish whiskey, hot coffee, thick cream, and sugar. Regardless, the Huntsman's bird based name for this ship could mean that we get Feather Boa, a fashionable item full of feathers. Coco and Ublek Coco's minigun sure has some insane rate of fire speed when it's blasting out bullets at Ublek levels of quickfire. Coco and Tai Yang Once again, another pair with their voice talent are actually going out with each other in real life. Coco's Ashley is currently engaged to Rooster Teeth co-creator and voice of Tai Yang, Bernie Burns. The combo brings us the ship name, Coco Pops, taking into account that Tai Yang is a daddy and makes us call back to another Coco based cereal. Coco and Penny now for the pair featuring the girls that went into overkill mode at the end of the first two volumes. Both Penny and Coco go in full speed like a Coco locomotive. A Coco motive even. Coco and Reese. This ship has the name of Reese's Cups based on the peanut butter cup treats of the same name. Coco and CL. Both of these ladies rock their own respective beret hats, thus it's easy ground to make a bond for them and form a two-person Beret Club. Fox and Velvet The Fox and the Rabbit A real predator and prey situation between these two who are based on certain forest animals. Fox and Yatsuhashi Fox's colours works close enough to the colours of the tasty treat Key Lime Pie which both boys could slice up easily with their blades. Fox and Port Hopefully any big game hunting Port may partake in with Fox doesn't involve an actual hunting of a fox. Fox and Cinder In Japan, most people believe foxes or kitsune are tricksters. Some of them even cause people to be led astray like the ghostly fiery lights called willow wisps. Fox and Roman for a criminal like Roman, I'm sure he would believe that justice is blind if he can still get away with what he does, especially if he can get away from someone seemingly blind as Fox. Fox and Emerald Fox grouped up with Emerald gives us the gemstone Zircon, which can sometimes be a orangey brownish colour. Fox and Neo Now we have the supposed blind boy and the seemingly mute girl. Of course their ship names would refer to these traits, like Blind Love, mostly playing off Fox's disability, and Communication Error, more in the likelihood that any conversations between these two would be kinda difficult to hold. Fox and Neon Neons are of course inspired by a viral meme, Neon Cat, so it's no wonder that a pairing with Fox would mean that another viral hit gets called up for action. This time it's, what does the fox say? Velvet and Yatsuhashi For those who may see Yatsu looking out for Velvet as a possible romantic sign, 
There are names like Cinnabon, a bunny pun on the light brown spice cinnamon, or Stuffed Rabbit, a thinly laced adult joke playing off the toy as being stuffed and Yatsu being a bit too big for a girl so small. Velvet and Roman. In the story of Alice in Wonderland, Alice has a rather odd tea party with a rabbit, like Velvet, and a mad looking man with a hat, like Roman. Roman's headwear also plays into the ship name Hat Trick, taking on the classic magic talent of pulling a rabbit out of one's hat. Velvet and Cinder. Velvet is also the name of a very nice piece of material, but even it will be wary of fire, lest it becomes burnt cloth. But as dangerous as Cinder is, even she isn't as terrifying as the killer Rabbit of Kerbanog from Monty Python's The Holy Grail. Velvet and Neo. No surprise that due to Neo's disappearing acts and a rabbit's use in magic, that these two could be capable stage magicians. Though you could also combine some ice cream with the bunny to make some cream buns. Velvet and Mercury. Here's the kicker is a phrase that fits Velvet and Mercury quite well, given both are shown to be more than okay when it comes to leg combat. But one other ship name calls back to the grey rabbit friend of Disney's Bambi, that being Thumper. Velvet and Emerald. M's similar rare green mineral Jade can work into Velvet's animal nature to make some Jade rabbits. The thief may also take inspiration from Velvet's namesake and end up with some stolen silk too. Velvet and Adam. I'm sure any hunter who's been on the lookout for rabbits may have shouted bullseye when they hit their mark. No hunter though can lay claim to having shot a jackalope though, a rabbit in North American folklore otherwise known as a horned hare. Velvet and Junior. As much as Velvet is a friendly and fun person, I doubt she's the type to go out for the night club hopping at some point, especially at a club like Junior's. Velvet and Ozpin. Ozpin's true age is up in the air right now, but he's definitely old enough to have some fitting grey hairs, which can work with the rabbit girl to be a different kind of grey hairs for their ship name. Velvet and Glinda. Teacher's pet returns for another use, this time describing the cute Miss Scarlatina with the Headmaster's aid. Velvet and Ooblek. Be it from his drink or just from natural skill, Ooblek could easily outrun Velvet and maybe even have more than enough energy to go up against another bunny, the mascot of the Energizer batteries. Velvet and Port. Port's first name is shared with Peter Cottontail, another fictional rabbit just like the Velveteen Rabbit that Velvet is based on. I hope both rabbits keep safe though if Port is up and hunting during rabbit season. A call out to the Looney Tunes skit involving Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck and the hunter Elmer Fudd. Velvet and Penny. Velvet notably once used her copycat skills to summon Penny's blades. Her weapon copies taking a wireframe effect like a 3D graphic model visual. Penny's metallic body and Velvet's creation abilities also form the ship name Full Metal Alchemist, a popular anime and manga as well as lead character Edward Elric's title thanks to his metal part, thanks to his metal parts and his use of alchemy for some amazingly creative summoning. Velvet and Winter. Winter snow covered lands could easily be filled with some cute snowy white looking snow rabbits. Velvet and Ironwood. Buns of steel might make you think of some metallic rabbits, but most like to seem to use this term to describe some very hard bottoms. Velvet and Cardin. Some do ship Velvet with the Cardinal inspired Pratt, who often bullied her due to her race. The guy may even see a possible romance with the Faunus being a Cardinal sin in his eyes. There's also domestic abuse, the form of abuse between loved ones, again playing off these two's rocky past. Yatsuhashi and Cinder. Yatsu may be named after a sweet, but if Cinder's involved, he may be fried sweet, or changed from his giant huntsman stature to a burning tower. Yatsuhashi and Emerald. Not sure if there are any sweets made with green beans over any other beans, but it might not matter for the mountain and the viper. This name coming from, this name coming from an episode of Game of Thrones. 
Yatsu being the obvious mountain, and the Viper being Emerald, since snakes can also be sometimes portrayed as deceivers, like Emerald with her hallucinations. Yatsuhashi and Neo. The bulky mountain man could work his earthly build into the ice cream flavor Rocky Road. His name's origin could also lead into the added sweet on a chili treat, some sprinkles. Yatsuhashi and Cardin. If you ship Mr. Winchester with the giant, you'll get stacked, like the odds against him coming out fine, if Yatsu ever heard about Cardin bullying Velvet. Yatsuhashi and Dew. Team Indigo's Dew is back again shipped with another big lad, this time the mountain-like Yatsu, which can combo with Dew's name to make the ship name Mountain Dew, like the drink. Yatsuhashi and Bainsaw. And this last pair of names for the video actually play off the fan theory that these two are in fact the same person, given some small similarities between Yatsuhashi and the White Fang Lieutenant. Because of this theory, we get names like Mindfuck and Masturbation. It would seem to be quite the mindfuck if this was true, and I guess loving yourself is another term for some private time. That caps off part 4 of this ruby ship name analysis, come back soon for the remaining 2 person exclusive relationships, be sure to like and subscribe, and follow me on twitter at thatkaitodan for updates, ruby news and more. Until then, have a good day or good night, and peace out.